finally here for some LP action. This is KYN, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Lemmings War Tour, everyone. So, uh, last time solved the rest of the Noisemaker rank, and uh, the first several levels in the Amateur rank. So, moving along quite nicely, and slowly getting towards the real meat of the pack. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Let's Play. So, next up, Amateur 9, Green Sleeves. 20 Lemmings, 18 to be saved. Uh, traditional. Uh... I do not recognize the um, song title, I believe. Sometimes lemmings come with certain permanent skills pre-assigned to them. They would thus come out of their hatch with green rather than blue shirts. Their hatches are also labeled with the previously introduced pickup skills, so you can easily tell which skills the lemmings from a given hatch possess. Okay, so yes, as you can see here, the entrance at the top is a pre-assigned swimmer slash uh, floater hatch, while the entrance over here is a pre-assigned climber hatch. Okay, um, so... Yes, yeah, so the, uh, this hatch right here, we'll have to go to this exit over here. Um, yeah, because there is absolutely no way for us to, uh, uh, get through this, uh, wall right here. We don't have the correct, um, uh, destructive skill. Uh, while well, this entrance we have to go to here. So, yes, uh, so, uh, let me put this hatch, we have to dig down then. Okay, so, um, I think it might be enough just to, um, uh, stock here. Um, let's make sure they can get out of here. Okay, so no, we have to stone them. So, let's map back. Let's go ahead and make sure that we stole out a little further. Alright, and now, let's go ahead and stone here. Here, let's go ahead and dig. So that we make a climber friendly wall for these guys. Yeah, the flows would simply go down here safely. Boom. Uh, that's not good. Some of the climbers are too close. Yeah, that's bad. But it'll turn around. But uh, here we could just simply dig with the, the, the climber that just turned around. Oh no, uh, we will need a stone in here, won't we? So, no, it appears that, that... Um, yeah, what other would need to be a stoner there? So no, we're, we can afford to use a stacker here. Yeah, one of them will slip out, so that's perfectly fine. Um... Then let's see, yeah, next one we'll stone here, I believe. Yeah, here we'll need to stone to break the, um, climber hatches fall. Um, uh, let's go ahead and dig you. Yeah, then we can stone you. Yeah, now I believe this should be fine. Oh, and let's go ahead and max out the release rate. Not that it really matters, almost all of them were out. Okay. Uh oh. They are pretty close. Um. Oh, no, 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 that doesn't matter. They can just climb over the stack. Yeah, because here we need to use a stack in order to release the, um, um, the, uh, pre assigned swimmer and, uh, Floater hatches. Oh, uh, yeah, floater hatch, sorry. There's only one of them. And yes, yeah, so as you can see, this will allow them to step up over the stoner. And that's pretty much it already. Yeah, so they're just gonna swim over here and make their way up. So, very nice level here.
So there isn't really much to this low other than to um, lead them towards the correct exits. Uh, amateur 10. I like to move it, move it. Uh, 20 lemmings, 20 to be saved. Uh, real 2, real. Yeah, I like to move and move it. I like to move and move it. You like to move and move it. You like to move it. Yeah, featured in the movie Madagascar. Yeah, if I... Uh, assuming that it, that is the correct um, song title for that one. Uh, anyway, split the blocks, send lemmings to the left and right successively. They have a trigger like traps, but contrary to them, splitter blocks affect all lemmings passing through them, irrespective of their, of their relative distance to each other. Alrighty, um, six of everything here and four skill types. Um, let me see, how was this one done? Um, let's see, splitter will go this way. Yeah, so let me we'll go all the way down here. Uh, so we can use either a floater or a glider, it appears. Although, I think here it will matter which one we use. Because, yeah, some of the falls will be directly over water, which means we would need a glider. Okay. And then, yeah, this should be enough to get a glider in here, I would think. Um, yeah, the rest of them can be floaters down here. Well, except for right here. Yeah, here we have to use a glider. This one we can use a floater, though. Okay, uh, I don't think this will be a problem. Yeah, so any limbs to go through here would need to be a glider. Uh, it can also be a swimmer, too, so I don't think it really matters. Yeah, this guy would need to be a floater, though. Um, yeah, this guy can be a floater. Um, I think this guy can just simply swim across, probably. Although, we can probably send him up as a climber as well. Uh, let me see if we can afford to have them have uh, three different skills. This guy could just be a swimmer. Oh, this guy is already coming. Yeah, I think it could just be a floater. I mean, a swimmer. Yeah, I'm playing it. It's not gonna matter here. Did I get him in the wrong. Oh! Uh. No, I meant to give him a swimmer and not a floater. Ooh, um... He is coming out that way. Uh-oh. Yeah, was he a glider, though? So, yeah, we'll have to make the rest of them climbers into Pierce. Uh, he can just get a floater. Ooh, that's a bomb right there. Okay, um... So, now let's try this again. Uh, let me start with climbers first. Yeah, just so I don't, um, get confused myself. Um, these guys can just be gliders, it appears. Yeah, these guys that go over here. Uh, this guy can be a glider. This guy can be a climber. Uh, this guy can just be a swimmer. Yeah, let's go ahead and make him a climber. Um, let me see. You can be a floater. Uh, this guy could just be a swimmer. 
Um, uh, let's get glider. Um, let me see. It could just be a swinger here, it appears. Or... Must you be a glider? Right, now I'm getting confused. He could be a glider. He could also be a floater. Uh, he could be a glider. No, oh, he could be a floater. Oh, actually, no. Let's just make him a glider. Okay, so it is actually possible to save some skills here, it appears. I wasn't quite expecting that. So yes, it does look pretty confusing, but it's really not that bad. Uh, amateur 11, hold louder lems. 80 lems, 80 to be saved. Okay, let's settle in here again. And I do not know the song of theirs. Okay, no introduction text here. Uh, yes. Uh, I think I remember this one being a pretty good one. Um... Let me see. Uh, we only had 10 climbers, so, um... Okay, um... So, yeah, it appears that we went to bash across. And then, um... Um... Here's what we have to, like, uh, maybe dig here? Oh, uh, yeah, we went to dig here, and then we just mine anywhere here. Just gotta make sure that we don't get more than 10 lemmings trapped down there. Okay, so how many end up turning around here? Looks like five of them. Ah, uh, God. There we go, that's better. Alright, and then we gotta make sure that we place this digger carefully. Yeah, around there should be fine. Alright, so. Three climbers left over. And if I remember correctly, I believe there is a repeat of this later. Uh, Amberture 12, smoke on the water. 40 lemmings, 30 to be saved. Deep purple. Okay, I have no idea who that is, and... Do not know the song either. Swimmers can survive any fall if they plunge into water. Learn to make use of that. Yes, and we already did that back for Amateur 3, I believe. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, I also remember being stuck on this one until I <laughs> remember the um, fact that water breaks the lemmings fall. Um, here we have 20 swimmers, though. Um, so it appears that we will have to, um, yeah, it looks like we have to bomb in such a way so that these lemmings will drop into water. And let me see, yeah, the swimmers will be enough for all the top hatch. Okay, um, that doesn't seem too bad here. I'm gonna make sure they, uh, we drop it in the correct place though. Um, yeah, I could probably bomb around here. Yeah, and we can do several here, I would think. So it doesn't really matter if he slips through to the water. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, same way, he could just turn around. Oh, we're already closing in on the losses here. 
Uh, that might be a problem, so... Yeah, looks like we have to... Uh, maybe use platforms on some of them. They can't get out there, can they? You know, we need to use another bomber there. And plus I don't even know if that would be too low for them. Um, I don't know, some of them will hit land instead. Oh, and one of them went out too. Um... One of them will be lost as well. Oh, that's right, because we bombed up here. Yeah, we can afford to use some of the swimmers down here as well. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so in that case, let's make him a swimmer. Ah, uh, right, right, they can just go underneath. Um, can we afford to, um, bomb right now, though? I feel like that, like that's not, uh, wise. Okay, so let's just go ahead and pop and turn him around. Um... Just try to pop me back there and then make him him a swimmer. Oh, that's not necessary. Okay. okay bomb right there. Oh, um. Bomber to release them. Yes, perfect. Oh! I am one short. Uh, what happened? Did I lose somebody? Ah, that's weird. Um. Yeah, did I? Really end up losing somebody here. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so the loss is right away, okay. missed one of the uh, followers down there. Okay, so it probably would have been easier if I, uh, for example, assigned all the swimmers yeah, before bombing. Okay, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the way it's supposed to be right there. Anyway, Amateur 13. Uh, AO technology? I think that's how you say it. AO, AO. Hmm. Uh, Justin Timberlake and Milo? Milo? Yeah, I don't know who the second one is. Uh, I do not do know the song either. Uh, Justin Timberlake, yes, I do know him. Uh, lots of great songs he's written. And yes, this is one of the lows that, um, in the old format version, this one featured, um, radiation. Yeah, but, uh, in new formats, uh, the radiation object was one of the things that got cold, so they don't exist in this one. So instead, yeah, I think that's the reason for all the bomber pickups that we see here. Uh, look here. 
Belgium has finally decided to get rid of its old nuclear power plants. No more danger of radioactive objects on this level. Yeah, so you see, the pretext even explains that uh, this level had um, radiation. Okay, um... So, yeah, um... I think it would be enough to just simply... Uh, drop it down here in stone. Although, if we do that, yeah, then... Um, well, this hatch will be in danger. Um... So, yeah, um... Yeah. I think we could afford to just simply stone to uh, have everyone fall. Uh, actually, no, it's not necessary. No, it is necessary. Yeah, here is definitely necessary. So that we can break their fall. Okay, these guys won't be in any danger, but these guys are, yeah, due to the gap over here. Yeah, so let's make sure we pop them up this gap. Okay, and let's go ahead and max out the release right here. Oh, some of them will be going out this way, though. Um, I think that might not be a problem here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and uh, use the last lemming here. I not want him turning around. Ah, don't turn around, please. Thank you. Alright, um, so let me see. Yeah, so we just have to make good use of our cloners and, uh, in order to, like, bomb where we need to. Um... Here we could just platform across and make uh, get him to safety. Um, okay. Uh, let me just go ahead and send him on ahead. Uh, these appear to be on the track only. However, I believe we could just simply bomb right there. This map, uh, we may, might not even want to um, uh, clone that. Let me just yet. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and platform all the way across here first. Okay, so he turns around. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and maybe clone twice here, so that we can bomb here. Yeah, so pretty much the thing about radiation was that it was pretty much, um, a lot of people found it annoying just because it adds execution difficulty, which is basically what Neo Olympics tries to avoid anyway. But, quite honestly, I did not mind the radiation or slow freeze objects. Yeah, I found a lot of really good lows uh, that used them, so... I was personally one of the few, few that didn't mind them. Yeah, so other than Strato himself, yeah, I also did not mind those objects. Um, maybe we could just platform out a little farther out. Um, yeah, he just ends up overtaking the... Um... Yeah, here we can clone a bomb here, it appears. Okay, now... Um... Okay, here we'll just exit, so, um... Which means we could probably, um... Just be able to bomb right away here. Um... Uh, as a matter of fact, do we, do we even want to, like, bomb right away there? Um... Hmm. 
Uh, so we could probably just simply bomb right here first. Um, but we don't have anyone above here right now, though. So maybe to, um, no, let's try... Let's try using the final lemming from both hatches. Yeah, maybe that will uh, help ease things up a bit. Okay, the gap here is actually wider than this one, it appears. Let's try bombing up here instead. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and clone you. So we can get over here. Okay, and then... Um, let's try platforming here. Um, now... Yeah, would the bomber be enough right here? Yes, it is, okay. Ah! Yeah, and I guess we'll just have to send this guy the other way here. Is that a spot fall as well? Oh no, it's safe. Okay. Oh, this is still a spot fall. Okay, um... This is what the other bomber would be used for. Oh, they can still get the pick ups, okay. And he went over it, okay. Uh, let's just make sure that he can... No, he ends up going over it. Um... Not bad. Yeah, here we could just simply bomb it. So no, I think I'm, like, overthinking this. Um... Yeah, and then here we could just simply bomb. Send him the other way. Yeah, I don't bomb here. Alrighty. So, certainly it could be a difficult one, but yeah. It's not like super hard, luckily. Um, but, um,. I believe this is pretty much one of the uh, earliest levels that can be pretty annoying on the execution. Yeah, and that's exactly what the radiation and slow freeze objects did um, in some ways. But uh, again, I personally did not mind them. Uh, this is still a pretty good level, especially with the way that the... Um, it's like pretty much like an atom kind of like thing uh, right where the exit is, I think. Uh, next one. Amateur 14. Meet me halfway. So another low in the... Uh, Gigalum tree tiles out here. Uh, 30 lemmings, 29 to be saved. Black Eyed Peas. Yes, I know uh, Black Eyed Peas, but I do not know the song of theirs. Um, so, I believe their uh, uh, song that I first made them popular was like My Humps or something like that. Uh, yes, I believe this uh, deals with skills crossing one another. Some skills can pass through each other without getting interrupted. Yes, I was correct. So, yes, uh, this would be, um, 
Let me see. How is this done? Uh, this one would be two miners crossing one another. So this one can be a little difficult to get correct, but yeah, it's quite satisfying when it all works out. Uh, let me see. Then here. Then here. No, he's like too far off. So, why don't I wait before giving a walker to turn around? Ah! There we go, yeah. They pretty much have to be placed at the exact correct spots and, um, and, um, and, and correct time. So here, yeah, really the only thing that's needed is just one builder. So, as a matter of fact... Um... Ooh, I, uh, I realized, um, oh, actually, no, 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 it is necessary because of the patch up here. So, no, you will have to have the minus cross one another. No! Uh, oh, yes, 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 it is necessary. Yeah, because then you need another mine up here as well. Oh, um... Oh, we have a climber hatch there as well. Um, no, now I need to stop these guys from going out. Okay, so no, not quite here. Um, um, let me see. Um, let's see. Yeah, where's that other builder that can be placed here? Um... Yeah, because I can't really place it right here. That's not going to stop the climbers at all. Um... Um... Ah, that's interesting. How do I stop the climbers from going out? Yeah, here is a safe place for the climbers to turn around. Uh, let me see. Hmm, I wonder if um, if we would have to uh, place the miner more carefully or something. Um, oh, maybe down here. We have to keep this miner going all the way down. Uh, but he's gonna go stop all the way up here, though. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Um... Hmm. Yeah, so how do I stop these climbers from going out, then? Oh, this builder up here. Er, I'm stupid. Yeah, because supposedly uh, you could also do it in such a way that the builders cross one another as well, without them interrupting one another. But it's really not necessary here. Yeah, you just gotta make sure that this builder finishes on time, before the climbers are able to slip by and go this way. Okay, yes, I was just an idiot here. 
All right, quite a nice little demonstrating the miners crossing one another, and they will still uh, not get interrupted. Uh, amateur 15, ring, ring. Uh, 40 lemmings, 30 to be saved, and by ABBA. Yes, I know ABBA. Uh, I believe it's like a Swedish band or something like that. Um, but I do not know the song of theirs. Uh, pretty much no Dancing Queen, and um, uh, is it also by them? Uh, Gimme Gimme, A Man After Midnight, or is that another group? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know now. Let's go. Okay, so yes, pretty nice <laughs> Uh, design here, yeah. I really like the uh, um, uh, the phone design and also the uh, uh, number pad here, yeah, for which you can dial the number. So just we pretty much have to require some uh, tiles set mixing, yeah. Pretty much from the uh, I think it's the it's called the Kiwi tile set from Zanzendorf and as for the uh, red pieces, I think that's the abstract. Uh, I think that's Namita's tile set. Um, anywhere. As for this level, uh, let me see. How do you do this level again? Uh, it seems that we will have to, um, maybe, um, like, uh, go out this, this way, it appears, to the far left. Um, and, um, uh, we could probably even stack here, probably. Um, yeah, and then we can, like, come out from the other side. Um, mm, we do have five platformers. Um, um, let me see. Um, here might be enough to, like, platform us. Um, uh, why don't we go down here on platform? I mean platform stack. Um, Adele, it seems that they um, will likely, um, some of them will probably like, end up falling past the stack though. I hope that won't be the case, but um, Okay, yeah, and we're not to lose up to 10 here, so... Uh, just like plenty of leeway. Yeah, so why don't we take advantage of that? Okay, and then... Yeah, let's go ahead... Block there. Oh, um, looks like we'll have to uh, use both stackers there. So, yeah, it will almost allow him to get up there with just one stack. Okay, so now we get over the top here. Um,. Now, uh, whereas for releasing them, um, um, let me see. Uh, we can just simply dig down here, it appears. Yeah, as a matter of fact, why don't we dig down, and then once he's spoken through, we're just gonna go ahead and platform across so that he turns around. Yeah, and then we can just do that. Yeah, and that's already it. So we have a platform left over that save way more than enough over the requirement six. So yes, very nice one, especially the design here. Uh, amateur sixteen, slide it in. Twenty five lemmings, twenty to be saved. White snake. Uh, I don't know who that is, and I don't know the song either. Gliders and floaters can enter and exit in mid air, even when there is no ground underneath. Regular follow lemmings can't do this. Keep in mind that the trigger for measuring a glider's position is at its feet, not its head. Uh, yes, so, um, yeah, so pretty much this is uh, an example of a lower where, um, yeah, you cannot use direct drop, which is basically, uh, uh, doing the low in such a way so that followers will fall into the exit from above. 
Yeah, so in earlier versions of Neo Linux, yeah, Linux could drag drop into the exit. But in later versions, yeah, it was disabled. Um, and so the only way that Linux can enter an exit that's in midair uh, are floaters and gliders. Yeah, everyone else would just simply fall past. Okay, so now here we have... Um, yeah, there's... Yeah, that's why I thought there's two entrances here. Yeah, one of them is a pre-assigned glider hatch, the other one is a pre-assigned floater hatch. So I believe the gliders will be no problem here. No, not quite. They, um, you need to go out a little bit here. Um. So it appears that we will have to um. Um, so I think what we can do, uh, can't we use the, um, the gliders here, it appears. Although, um, you know, we can probably just back first. Um, yeah, one of the ends up slipping by the floater. Let's try stunning there and then sending up a floater as a climber. Uh, actually, why don't we stone a little further uh, down? Yeah, let's send a climber over. Yeah, there's a floater. Now, does he go? No, he goes out a little too far here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because the floaters are too close to uh, um, uh, to the ground there, or rather to the water. Yeah, there's no ground there. Now, is this enough? Okay, yes. The floaters will be able to exit from there. Um, and then, um, yeah, we will have to uh, maybe dig around there, so so that the pliers can exit. Um, no. Um, let's see. Yeah, the pliers will be around here. Um, okay, but now the floaters cannot exit. Now would this be enough? Uh, yeah, it appears to be so. Okay. Uh, pretty nice level here. Although, yeah, the, um, the floaters will probably be the most difficult to rescue here, since the floaters uh, take a little longer to open up their parasol, in, in contrast to the gliders, who open it much faster. So gliders aren't the problem here. They are very easy to rescue. Uh, amateur 17, float. 10 lemmings, 9 to be saved here. Flogging molly. I have no idea who the author is, and so I don't know the song either. Okay, no pretext here either. So this is a pre-assigned swimmer slash glider hatch. Uh, yeah, I remember this one being a little difficult. Um, and here we can only lose one, okay. Uh, yeah, obviously we need to send one out as a climber here. Yeah, so that we get some of the pad forged ahead first. Um, I think here it won't be a problem since the swimmers will pretty much get to the top of the uh, water. Um, yeah, we will need to save it to start the skill for the uh, beginning though. And here it seems that the uh, basher is the most um, uh, useful choice. Um, is that actually too deep? Oh, and 
and oh, right, right, right. He actually climbs out. Um, let's see. Um, just want to put a stoner at the beginning. Made it too deep for them. Okay. Yeah, that is a problem. But uh, here, would be possible. Yeah, we mine up here. It's probably gonna be too high for them. Um. Hmm. Yeah, but if we go any closer, yeah, then the view of our so just gonna kill him. Okay, here is fine though. So it appears that that's pretty precise there. Okay, um, we would have had to build up into Pierce. Yeah, then we'll have to glide up here. I mean, glide, uh, platform. Okay, yes, and uh, it is enough to catch the, um, Flyers. And if I find we could just bash the crowd free, and that's it. Because this should be enough, yeah. Alrighty, very nice level here. Now, I can certainly see this one being a difficult one, just because the uh, very pixel precise minor assignment. Although, knowing myself, there's probably an easier way to do the low. Uh, Amateur 18, Tears in Heaven, 20 Lemmy. 20 Lemmings, 19 to be saved. Eric Clapton. Yes, I do know Eric Clapton, and I know his the song of his as well. Uh, he pretty much wrote this song after his. Um, oh, I don't remember how old his son was. Uh, he basically fell from a bal balcony and uh, and died. And so um, Eric Clapton wrote the song, and I believe after as a result of the accident, um, uh, he advocated for um, safety rails or something like that. Um. It's like, would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Yeah, or something like that. It's been a while since I heard the song. Um, sadly, you can't always take whatever route you might want to choose. One-way fields are one-way streets that only allow lemmings to pass in one direction, left or right. In the other direction, they work just like blockers do. Uh, yes, I remember this one being a bit difficult, too. Uh, but it is a very nice low, though. Okay, so yes, we can't come from the uh, left side here. Um, so we would have to come from the right side. Yep, and back to the can can here. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember using a miner and bouncing him off the one way field. Uh, yes, and obviously we need to build here. Alrighty, um, let's go ahead and stack up. Nope. Yeah, how about try blocking? Uh, oh, these guys won't need. Nope, no, 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 no. These guys won't need. A blocker, I believe. Um. Yeah. No, no, no. Not block on the right side, but um. Uh, but if we did that, then yeah, we only allow one more loss. Ah, uh, well, one loss. Uh, let's just try stacking. Okay, one, two, three for the builders. Ah, uh, this is like a lot of them. Um, maybe we do need a blocker though. Or, no, we could probably, um, maybe bash. Um, Uh, 
Um, yeah, then we have this problem right here. Yeah, unfortunately, some of them come too quickly here. Okay, um... And we could always bash the, uh, this crowd free later. Um... So... Yeah, maybe we could just stack here first. Rather than use a blocker. Ah. Uh, they're not all gonna turn around in time, which I'm play. Oh, and I lost too many lemons here. Oh, right. Ah, uh, there were two of them. Um... One, two, three. Oh. No, 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 so increasing the release rate's not necessary. Alright, and then we're just gonna go ahead and build here so that we can catch these guys. And I believe that's pretty much it. Uh, so now we can just mine, uh, bash these guys free, and then bash the blocker free. Yep, there we go. So yes, a pretty hard one, but um, a very, very nice one. I really like this one too. Okay, um... Do I want to go for this one as well? Uh, yeah, why not? Amateur 19, holding out for a hero. 21 lemmings, 20 to be saved. Bonnie Tyler. Uh, I heard of Bonnie Tyler. Um, I think I know the song, but I... Not certain. Uh, when, when a lemming is pre-placed uh, in the low and has several athletic skills, you won't be able to tell which kind of skills it has by looking at the hatch, because it didn't come out of a hatch in the first place. Instead, hover your mouse over the lemming and press Alt to see the initials of all its skills. Yeah, or as a matter of fact, you can even look at the uh, grayscale icons right above him as well. So here we can see he's a pre-assigned climber, swimmer, glider, and disarmor hatch. I mean, a disarmor hatch. Ah! Um, a pre-assigned climber, swimmer, glider, and disarmor lemming. Yeah, not hatch. <laughs> uh, okay, so it appears, obviously, that we want to go over the top. Um, and it appears that the, um, so I think we'll have to use all three of our builders here at the beginning. Now, is he able to glide? Yeah, he is. Just barely, but he does make it on there. Yeah, and then he can just swim across. And he can climb, and then disarm this trap here. Okay, and then here, um... Let me see, will he eventually turn at some point? Uh, yeah, he turns up there, okay. Okay, so, let's go ahead and platform up this gap. Oh no, we're gonna need to use a builder there as well. Okay, so... Uh, why don't we start by using some of the stackers here. Ah, it's too close.
There we go. Yeah, and I don't even want to platform. Yeah, we want to platform from the other direction. Yeah, now we can reach the wall. Uh, except here we are blocking them, so... Um, yeah, I think it doesn't matter, we can just bash it out, I think. Okay, um... Um... Here we Fence out. Um, uh, that's not gonna do us any good. No, that does not look good. Here we might have to use a stacker to stop them from splatting. But, um. Um. Uh, it appears that we will have to, um. Yeah, we will have to use a stacker here then. Okay, um. Yeah, that seems to be a problem here. Yeah, no, 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 no. So, nope. Yeah, perfect. That's what we need. To Now we can just do the rest of the path like we did before. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and bend this up. Yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and stack here. So to create a turning point for the crowd. Yeah, because we need to bash them out. Oh, 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 um. oh I'm gonna run up a skill short. Yeah, so it appears that we'll have to do this first. There we go. Yeah, it's amazing that a low like this can still catch you off guard. <laughs> yeah, if you're not careful. Or, yeah, or you could do it the other way. You can also spam fence out. And then you can bash over here. It does not really matter. Oh, yeah, they just make their long way back. Alrighty, nice low. Um. I think I will actually make a cut here. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and stop here and tune in next time for when I uh, let's play more Lemmings War Tour. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.